Well, I guess you all know what this is. This is my FTM 400 XDR. And as you can see, past some of that blade in there, you can see the circuitry inside. Well, the DR doesn't have that. And... Let's see if I can find it here. Well, I thought I might be able to show you the vent, but I can't seem to locate it there. Alright, this one's got a little hole up here. Somewhere in here, there's a switch. Let's see if I can... Oh, there it is, right there. If I can get this thing to focus. Now, theoretically, I should be able to get to this switch and flip it. Let me see what I can do here. I think I'm going to try it with this jeweler screwdriver. See if I can get this camera positioned and flip that switch. I think I did it. How about that? You can see there is an update on that white piece of paper, which the other one didn't have. Okay. If I can keep that light out of there, where you can actually see that switch. This one I didn't need to take apart, which I didn't want to do. But I do, well, if I have to. I wish this thing would focus better. There we go. Alright, let's start with the programming aha here we go we'll come back when it gets further along well at the moment we're at about 37 38 percent still moving right along uh, we'll be right back when it gets further along well moving right along this one is a lot easier to update with that hole in place, I must admit. Um, this XDR is a much better radio than the DR. Uh, but, you know, they're both okay. They're both okay. They do the same job. Uh, I think uh, the XDR runs a little cooler and is a better performing radio. Uh, just because of that, I guess. All right, we're at the end of the update. Looks like update was complete. All right, let's see what we got to do here. Let me put this on pause. I'll probably have to flip that switch back to the normal. All right, now I've got to find that switch down in there again. I think I found it. Looks like it's flipped. How about that? Yeah. I can see it. Alright. Alright. Got the flip switched. Switch flipped. The rubber plug is in place. Now we're ready to do the firmware. Or the refract factory reset, actually. Yeah, that's next. Okay, as you can see, the main is at 4.4. .4. Now we're going to do the DSP. Alright, stand by just for a minute. Okay, 
just like in the uh, 400 uh, DR, the XDR is the same way. You hold the F key and the D key while powering it up, and that puts you in the um, DSP write mode, which I'm fixing to do. Um, let me get to the radio. It says press the D key. All right, that would be this one right here. Waiting. Update. Uh oh. Comport error. Why is there a comport error? Let me check it. I forgot to check the cable. Alright, the cable's plugged in. Let's try it again. Ah, uh, this says connect cable. That's what I forgot to do. Connect internal power, external power, turn transceiver on. And we're ready, we're in DSP.com, let's try the update. Uh oh, please check version number. Uh, alright. Here we go. We'll be right back. It's moving right along. This don't take very long to update. Um, so we've got both the firmware, the main, and the DSP, which is happening right now. This is a pretty easy uh, firmware update. This is supposed to enable you to get your uh, PDN working, personal digital node. I've applied for my uh, number and still waiting to receive it. Um, We'll have to see how this works when we get that number back. But as you can see, this is almost done. Alright. Uh, oh, I forgot to do a factory reset. Uh, I, oh, no, I did do that. Okay, never mind. Here we go. Alright, here we are in the digital. Item number 5, DSP version 4.31. So that's a success, as well as the main, which I showed you a few seconds ago. Uh, that's a success. Now I've got to import my uh, repeaters and simplexes, uh, data, and all that. Be right back. Okay. I'm now getting all my data program back in the radio. This is probably the hardest part of it. <laughs> At any rate, and there you go. It'll be rebooting here as soon as this gets done, which is about halfway now. All right. This is the RT system software that I. Uh, purchase for this radio I think I'm not sure it could actually be the Yezu software but whichever way it works can't remember anymore whether I bought it or whether I'm using the one that Yezu supplied but it looks like it's about ready to reboot complete there it goes there we go all right thank you for watching well, it looks like this is the RT system software I thought it was but wasn't sure At any rate there you have it <laughs>